Let's get your breaking news that's coming in in the Kerala arson attack. The attacker, Shahrukh Saifi, has now been sent to police custody. Remember, he's the main accused, was nabbed from Maharashtra's Ratnagiri. Earlier today, he was remanded to 14-day judicial custody, but after they completed the medical tests, he was then produced in court. He was declared medically fine. The police then sought his custody because they have to question him as well in this particular case. They're going to be probing the terror angle. Why did Shahrukh travel? from Delhi, Shaheen Bagh, all the way to Kerala to go ahead and perpetrate this kind of an attack. The motive is something that the cops are looking into and in what comes as a big push for them in the investigation, he's been remanded as they wanted to police custody. So this is the big breaking news that's coming in right now. Earlier today, Shah Rukh, who uh, seemed to be unwell, was in fact remanded to 14-day judicial custody. The judge had gone to the court, uh, to the hospital to meet him. Soon after medical tests, it was confirmed that he is medically fit, which is when the police pushed for his custody. And now they have been granted custody of Shah Rukh Saifi for going ahead with the interrogation of the main accused of the man who pulled off that arson attack on board a train in Kerala's Korikun. After a clear Shaheen Bagh link, another massive revelation in the suspected Kerala train terror attack case. Investigators have found some chilling clues in Shah Rukh Saifi's personal diary. Notes on kufra or un-Islamic deeds, words like badkar or evil character, maglub or defeated, farikhin, which means a conversation between two people. Kori code cops who are grilling the attacker are trying to solve the riddle of his diary. The probe has shown that Shah Rukh was radicalized on YouTube. He had a channel also and handlers allegedly used the YouTube channel to get in touch with him indoctrinating him and making him change his lifestyle. Once radicalized, Shah Rukh quit smoking and tried to discontinue what he thought was un-Islamic practices. Cops are also trying to solve the mystery of Shah Rukh's sudden and mysterious trip to Kerala. While one page of the diary listed down his day-to-day -day activities, another page had his YouTube logo as well as a line, let's do it. Did this YouTube channel have any role? Did anybody who wanted to radicalize him reach out to him through this YouTube channel's ID? Now those are one of the many questions the police has to deeply look into. Where he set three people on fire and hurt nine others inside the train with no apparent provocation. Once uh, he is uh, medically examined and uh, the doctors confirm that, then we'll, be start, we'll start uh, questioning him. Whatever he... Uh, says we have to verify and uh, tra trace his movements on the background and all that. Everything then we'll be able to establish what exactly the, uh, uh, the uh, sections of uh, UAPA or other uh, will be involved. Shah Rukh's father, however, believes he's being framed. Did radicalized Shah Rukh Saifi stage a lone wolf terror attack? And are there more Shah Rukhs lurking? With Shibimol in Tirvanathapuram, Bureau Report, India Today.